Okay, welcome back to my channel. Really interesting problem today, yeah? Which one is larger? Yeah, on the left hand side 100 to the power 100 and on the right hand side 99 to the power 101, yeah? Really interesting problem. This is even even base, this is odd base, it's it's not good for us. This is odd power, this is this is even power. So this is like a, this number is is hard for us because this is odd base, odd number. This is good. We can easily express it as 10 square. So we can easily kind of simplify our left, our left hand side. But what about right hand side? This is not good number. Odd number, it can be divided by, cannot be divided by 2, it can be divided by 3, this one cannot be divided by 3, so it's really interesting algebra problem. But I want to show you a really interesting approach, how can we solve it? Let's divide our left hand side, so we have like 100 to the power 100, we divide it by 99 to the power 101. So let's divide our left hand side by right hand side. And whatever the answer we will have, we can easily tell the which one is larger. Because, for example, if our answer is greater than 1, so if this expression is greater than 1, then we can easily say that our numerator is greater. For example, we have like, like 9 over 4. We can easily say that our 9 is greater than 4. So, And in, a, in another case, if our answer is less than 1, we can easily say that our denominator is greater. Yeah. We can easily write it as 1 over 3, so our 1 over 3, and then denominator is greater than numerator, yeah? So this is our math concept that we need to know to solve this problem. So let's try to, let's try to divide it. So how can we divide it? 100 and 100 to 1, this is close numbers, so we can write it as 100 to the power 100, so the same numerator, but denominator let's write as 99 to the power 100 plus 1, yeah? We can easily write it in that way. And right now, if you know a little bit about power rules, we can easily write it as 99 to the power 100 times 99, yeah? So 100 to the power 100 over 99 to the power 100 times 99 to the first power, or oh, I write it as 99, yeah? Okay, now let's group this, th these elements. We can easily group this because this is a product, so we can easily change the order a little bit, yeah? So we'll have like 100 to the power 100 over 99 to the power 100 and times 1 over 99, yeah? So we can easily write it in this way. Okay, we can easily take it in, in one common brackets, common parentheses, because we have the same power, yeah? So it doesn't matter, we can easily write it as 100 over 99 to the power 100, yeah? And times 1 over 99. We can easily simplify this expression inside our brackets, inside our parentheses. We can write it as a really interesting expression. Take a look. We can write it as 99 plus 1 over 99 and raised to the power 100 and times 1 over 99. Yeah, so we can easily write it in this way. Right now, let's divide this, this expression in our numerator by 99. So we will have like 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power. 100 and times 1 over 99. Yep, so we have this, this expression. I hope you understand this step. Okay, what we're we going to do next? Let's try to create really interesting expression 1 plus 1 over n to the power n. Yeah, let's try to create this expression right here. So what do we need to create this expression? We need the same denominator right here and the same power. We have 99, but we need we need 99, we don't need 100. So we, let's write this as 99 plus 1, yeah? So we will have like 1, we will have like 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power 99 plus 1 and times 1 over 99. Yeah, equal to. Right now, let's try to separate this power. Let's try to break this power right here. We have addition, so we can write it as, as a multiplication. So 1 plus 1 over 99 to the power 99 times 1 plus 1 over 99 to the first power, so I don't want to write it, and times 1 over 99. Yeah, okay. Why I write this? Because if you're talking about limit, if n approaches to infinity of expression 1 plus 1 over n to the power n, this is equal to e, and all know e approximately equal to 2.718, as you can see, yeah? 0.718. So, as you can see, this expression is the same as our limit. We tried to create it before, yeah? And this expression, our in, in the limit, this is 2.71. This is like our maximum of this expression. So we can easily say that this expression is less than 3, yeah? This is really in interesting and important step right here.
So this expression, we can write it as expression that is less than three. So instead of this expression, I write this less than three in, in, in a circle. One plus one over 99, this is 100 over 99 if we add it. And this expression times one over 99, because as you can see, this is less than one, this is greater than one. So it's, it tells us nothing. It can be the final answer will be greater than one or, or less than one. We can, we need to simplify this a little bit. So right here, this expression less than three, we have this fraction and we have this fraction. What about this fraction? Let's write this fraction as, as a fraction that is less than, for example, one over six. So we can write this fraction as less than one over six because one over six is greater than this one. So we can write as the fraction is less than three. So let's rewrite it times 100 over 99 and times the fraction that is less than one over six. Yeah. This three and this six we can easily cancel. So two in our denominator and as a result, two and 99 in our numerator we have like 100 and in our denominator, we'll have like 99 times two, we'll have like 198, which is less than, which is less than one. So as a result, we can easily say that our right-hand side is greater. So 100 to the power 100 is less than 99 to the power 101, yeah? I know really tricky approaches, but I'm going to show you this with with limits, with this with these inequalities. This is really this is really interesting. Of course, a lot of students solve it in another way. They try to to find the exactly value of this expression and try to to know what is the final answer. But using these inequalities, I show you my my approaches, and I hope you you understand this. If you don't understand, write a question in comment, write your suggestion in comment. It will be really interesting to read about it. Also, thank you for watching, for your support. I really appreciate it. I need it a lot because then I see that you need this content and it, it inspires me a lot to, to make this content, of course, yeah? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.